Have you ever wondered how exactly your bread gets warm in the morning? So warm that your butter just melts perfectly on it? Well, the answer is pretty simple. We all know that we put our bread in the toaster to get it all warm and toasty, but how exactly does that work? First, we have to figure out what a toaster is. The pop-up toaster was invented by American Charles Strike in 1919 as a way to circumvent the need for continual human attention while toasting bread in a conventional toaster oven. Toast was repeatedly being bur served burnt in his company cafeteria, so he decided to do something about it. Charles Strite incorporated springs and a variable timer and filed a patent application for his pop-up toaster on May 29, 1919. The toaster is a mechanical device used to toast bread, usually by exposure to electronically heated wires. The basic idea behind any toaster is simple. The toaster uses infrared radiation to heat a piece of bread when you put your bread in, and see the coils turn red, the coils are producing infrared radiation. The radiation gently dries and chars the surface of the bread, and voila, your toast is now ready to eat. However, there are other parts at work in a toaster that are involved in toasting your bread. Apart from infrared radiation to heat the bread, the toaster uses a spring-loaded tray, a pop-up mechanism, and a circuit board to get your bread just right. After this video, you will know exactly how your bread gets toasted and what mechanisms are involved in getting it just right. So in toasters, we usually see two slots. Um, the slot is on top of the output holding the bread. When the bread is first added, a cage at the bottom of the slot holds it up, partway out of its slot. Since we don't want the bread to be directly in contact with the heated wire, there is a pair of grates on either side of the slot that keeps the bread in its slot. You don't want to burn yourself by trying to get the bread out. So, a spring-loaded tray rides up and down the slot to raise and lower the bread. First, with the lever pushed down, a spring is compressed, and the latch holds the lever in place at the bottom, bottom position. Even if a person lets go of the lever at this point, the latch will keep it in place, and the toast will continue to toasting. A toaster uses infrared radiation to heat a piece of bread. When you put your bread in the toaster and see the coils glow red, the coils are producing infrared radiation. The most common way for a toaster to create the infrared radiation is to, is to use nichrome wire wrapped back and forth across a mica sheet. Different metals react differently to the flow of electric current. If a metal offers high resistance to the flow of electric current, it is not a good conductor of heat. Because of the resistance of the wire, electric current flowing through the wire causes heat. The best metals of high resistance are alloys, which are combinations of several metals, like nickel chromium, also known as nichrome. There are two features of nichrome that make it a good producer of heat. First, nichrome wire has a fairly high electrical resistance compared to something like copper wire, and so even a short length of it has enough resistance to get quite hot. And second, the nichrome alloy does not oxidize when heated. Iron wire would rust very quickly at the temperature seen in a toaster. Like most wires in any house, nichrome wire conducts electricity. However, a nichrome wire can't deliver electricity as fast as copper can. This means that all of the energy can't transfer down the nichrome wire, so instead its energy becomes heat. This means the wire gets very, very hot and therefore heats everything around it, including the bread in the case of the toaster. Now we move on to popping the toast up. When you push the handle down, three things have to happen. First, some sort of mechanism needs to hold the handle down to keep the toast inside the toaster for a period of time. Second, power needs to be applied to nichrome wires. And third, some sort of timer needs to release the holder at the proper time so that the toast pops up. The plastic bar presses into a pair of contacts on the circuit board to apply power to the nichrome wires, and the piece of metal gets attracted to an electromagnet to hold the toast down. When you push down on the handle, the plastic bar presses against the contacts and applies power to the circuit board. 120 volt power runs directly through the contacts of the nichrome wires to start toasting the bread. A simple circuit made up of transistors, resistors, and capacitors turns on and supplies power to the electromagnet. The electromagnet attracts the piece of metal on the handle, holding the bread in the toaster. The simple circuit acts as a time. A capacitor charges through a resistor and when it reaches a certain voltage, it cuts off the power to the electromagnet. The spring immediately pulls the two slices of bread up. In conclusion, our presentation was on the toaster. To recap, we focused on two big questions. How does the toaster heat and what are the various mechanisms a toaster uses? 
A toaster heats food using infrared radiation. Nichrome wire wrapped around a mica sheet is the source of the infrared radiation. The toaster also has a spring-loaded tray in which a metal holder moves up and down to raise and lower the food. The holder is connected to a handle that you press on the outside of the toaster. When the handle is pressed down, there needs to be a mechanism in the toaster to keep the handle pressed down for a certain amount of time. Additionally, the wires need to begin heating and a timer needs to be activated in the toaster. When the handle is pressed down, it activates a circuit board which acts as the timer. We hope you all know a little bit more about the toaster today after our presentation. Thanks for watching.